The Visionary rework was supposed to drop yesterday, however it's been delayed again. Likely we don't need to wait another week because Chrissy did say he'll drop it as soon as it gets finished. And as a consolation, we now have 4 of the 5 moves for Visionary League. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe so we can hit 9k subscribers and let's get right into the video. The very first move I want to talk about is Flying Spot, which is basically the gun move where he just summons a bunch of guns and starts shooting at them. This move got a complete revision, complete redone. It's conceptually the same exact move as the thing that we have currently in game. However, one, it's a lot smoother now. It looks a lot faster and the animations are a lot nicer. And also the sound VFX got completely redone by Hollow. Let's look at the actual clip of the move. So here it is. It's like really, it sounds a lot nicer. That's one of my favorite parts of the move. Another good part that I like is the windup is not as long as it is currently because I'm not going to lie. I actually did use this move in game prior to this. Like if you guys are looking at this background footage, right? And I feel like a very big issue that I encountered against a lot of people is that people were just able to consistently easily block this move. A good counter I uh, like discovered with this is just meteor into the guns because people don't see the guns then. However, obviously meteor is going to be replaced with another move. So that's not going to work anymore. So like the fact that it did get the windup increase is definitely going to make this a lot easier to hit aside from that though it's pretty much the same exact move here's to see if they touch the end lag or the startup on this move at all because from the clip the startup definitely does seem a lot faster than the current one it might just be the new animations however the if the end lag remains untouched i think the move is going to be about the same in usage where it's just like something you can use to pressure your opponent's posture so specifically on like kendo and keto builds this will probably be better however i think like it'll still probably just be one of those things that's just viable on everything looking at the entire moveset just because all the moves seem very versatile now, honestly the current state of this move i feel like it's just something that's not going to be very easy to hit by itself so i hope that is changed because i'm not gonna lie like 99 of the time no matter what elo you're finding if somebody has like even somewhat solid ping they're just going to be able to block this unless you time it properly or you cheese it with like meteors right so hopefully the startup is slightly increased but it's still to the point where people are able to react to it because right now it is straight up just a free parry or a free block the next thing we got is the vault standing version of the same move and this shit i'm not gonna lie this low key is kind of hype let me just let me just show you guys this bro so you summon a bunch of fucking tactical nukes along with the guns to blow up your enemies. This shit looks low-key crazy. The AoE damage is also low-key crazy. And another thing Chrissy did specify under a tweet, the more people you're fighting, the less rockets hit each individual person, which, you know, that sounds like basic sense. However, if you're fighting a single player, every single one of the rockets and every single explosion is going to target one person. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This shit seems kind of busted, and let me explain why. Imagine you're fighting like a Chromebook player, like somebody who's averaging 30 FPS, and you pop your vault standing on them and you use this single target aoe explosion move that literally looks like it's blowing up half the map on one individual person i don't think they're going to be playing type soul ever again after that not because like you know they just got cooked or they died because they literally can't like i promise you this is going to break somebody's pc like already the current meteor moves vfx is low-key kind of crazy i'm not gonna lie like it doesn't lag me but i definitely know it does lag some people and on my other laptop like before back when i used to play on a chromebook that shit definitely lagged me a bit so this is going to be very interesting to see how it plays against people though i will say one big credit that i will give to the types of developers is that recently a lot of the updates have been a lot better optimized like i am noticing slightly less lag in type so so hopefully this isn't that bad you can also turn on like low graphics so it probably shouldn't be too bad but like it is definitely like i promise you in type Soul's entire existence this move is definitely going to break at least one pc or laptop or whatever yeah but let's move on to the next move so i have no idea what the fuck to call this move but it's like the ground grab telekinesis move we got the screenshots for this move a while back and low-key this does look like one of the more creative moves in the entire game like this is definitely something i like to see more often in games like this and recently we've also gotten a clip of this and i'm not gonna lie the way this move works is honestly a lot like it looks a lot smoother than what i expected First thing that we learned off this clip is that this move is going to be auto mouse aimable, which kind of does seem obvious. However, it also could have just been like a stomp or like a normal just ground uprise move. I don't know what to describe it, but like basically it's going to be auto aimable. This definitely does also seem like it could be a guard break. I feel like, all right, I want you guys to hear me out on this. I feel like this is going to be probably one of the more easier moves to parry just because of how massive the hitbox is. Like I feel like it's super choreographed. So once you learn the timing, this is definitely going to be something you could parry consistently. Maybe type soul, honestly, I should never use type soul pairing and consistency in this same sentence again my bad but basically this is definitely gonna be a pretty solid move to pick up we do lose i'm pretty sure this is also gonna be like a base drift move so we're gonna lose meteors in the base drift and i feel like this move could also do what meteors currently does for me at least which is mask the gun move so that i could actually hit it on people because the structure is that it generates are fucking massive like straight up i'm pretty sure you could just shoot the guns past that and get a free combo starter when they don't expect it another thing that this loki reminds me of is glacial arc from deep broken if you guys played that basically it's like a mobility mantra monsters are basically just moving 
moves. It's just like a mobility move that summons a pillar that you can climb on. It also does do damage. Loki, this move would be kind of sick if you could actually climb on it. Like, imagine you're in hell when Hellverse inevitably releases, which is hopefully like this month, maybe next month. But like, imagine you're in hell, you get stuck into a hole, you can't get out, you just pop this move and then you climb out. Like, Type Soul is lacking in mobility moves. I feel like, like, I can't really name literally any mobility moves in the game. Like, the only thing that comes to mind is Vage on Vamp, and that's not even really a mobility move. Actually, it is, I'm done. But basically, Type Soul is lacking mobility moves. So, like, this Loki would be pretty sick to see if you could, like, actually climb on this. And we also don't have any confirmations for, like, a Vault Standing version of this. However, if the guns got one, and considering it's, like, a relatively new rework that is pretty hype, I'm pretty sure this move is probably gonna end up having a Vault Standing variation. Don't, like, don't quote me on that because, you know, it's obviously not confirmed. But if it did have one, it'd be super cool to see some shit where you, like, shape the ground and it just follows your mouse cursor. Except, like, you could just straight up chase somebody till it hits them. Like, there's no range. I would low-key be kind of busted. But, uh, yeah, anyways, let's move on to the next move. So build is real because but like all right you guys are gonna know what that name means in the future but basically what this move does is you summon a bunch of clones and by a bunch of clones i mean like 20 clones bro the quality of this kind of sucks so i didn't do full screen but basically you just summon a bunch of clones and the reason why this move is called hug is because once the clones interact with the player they start hugging the player as, soon as they make contact with the player and they start hugging them they grab onto them and they immediately explode all of them so when i told you guys that visionary is literally gonna be a like a pc killer like it's gonna kill somebody's pc i was not joking bro like half the move set on this entire chica i don't know why i called it chica half the move of this shrift and it's false standing and it's base is going to make somebody's pc die i promise you and I want to make a joke about the clones exploding, but I'm not going to make a joke about that because I'm a good person and I'm not insensitive. I want to keep my CC roll. So anyways, uh, basically this move looks kind of sick. I'm not going to lie. I really like this. I'm pretty sure it's going to work similarly to the uh, gun move where it's like, it depends on how much people you're going against. So if you're fighting like six people, each clone is going to target like one person per three clones. If it's one person you're fighting, every single clone is going to swarm them. I'm 99% sure people should be able to at least kill them. So like if you're doing a mode versus mode battle, somebody could just pop like a fucking massive AO move. AoE move and just completely wipe them out. That's not confirmed, by the way. That's just something I hope they add to it. But yeah, like Loki, the clone moves looks pretty sick. Not much more to say about it. Let's move on to the final move of the video. Boys, the fourth and final move is gonna be the bubble move. This is already in the game currently. However, I believe it's gonna get a complete rework. So let's check it out. Yeah, so the quality does suck on this, but basically you just summon a giant bubble of water like Remy does in the animate. You entrap them in it and it blows up. Like, that's pretty simple. I'm not gonna lie. I'm also pretty sure this automatically blows up. You might be able to control it. And obviously, it is a massive ass AoE move. Like, this is definitely gonna be this is definitely gonna be one of the strongest moves in the entire vault standing because there's literally no way anybody can avoid this. This is literally just free damage. I'm pretty sure the fifth move that we've not been like that has not been revealed yet. I'm like 99% sure that's probably just gonna end up being some ultimate ass move this obviously isn't confirmed but like the current meter that we have in the base shrift except it's like 10 times bigger and it blows up half the map like low-key i could see them adding something like that similar to what light sagunda has similar to what superstar has as like the final base ultimate move for Grammy shrift because low-key all these moves don't really seem that brain dead especially compared to what we have in the game right now so the last move being something crazy is honestly something that i feel like could very likely happen it also does probably have a few passives maybe the passives could tie into the moves like depending on what passive you have the move does something else because they have been working on this rework for like one to two weeks now so like you know it should have been out right now if they didn't put a lot of work into it so it's definitely going to be something interesting and something that i'm very much looking forward to if i had to guess it's probably dropping in like one to three days because christy did say it was almost done and when he finishes it he'll just drop it so yeah thank you for watching have a wonderful day and goodbye please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and uh yeah